From Bruce Willis's battle with aphasia to the authorization of another COVID booster, we got a lot of health news to break down this midday. I want to bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. It is good to see you as always. I want to start with aphasia because that is a term that's now uh, in the news big time. Lots of people Googling it to kind of find out more information. Can you explain to us what this is and how it impacts uh, someone's ability to communicate? Yeah, aphasia means a difficulty with communication. Now that can mean difficulty writing, reading, difficulty hearing, or more commonly difficulty speaking. Most common cause of that is a stroke. We see a lot of that, or a blow to the head, trauma. Those things happen abruptly. When aphasia comes on gradually though, that's a different problem. That's a disease of the brain tissue itself. Sounds like unfortunately that's what Bruce Willis has and that condition is challenging to treat, Sonia. Uh, Dr. Winner, I want to switch gears now and talk about COVID because we heard from uh, the FDA this week. Second booster shots authorized. I know that the process, you know, includes the CDC at this point. So if you're someone who is considering maybe traveling or, you know, thinking through, should I get a booster? Do I need one? What do you tell patients right now? Yeah, first I want to point out that only half of Americans eligible for the first booster have gotten one. And there's very good evidence that that first booster makes a big difference in lowering your risk of serious illness or even death from COVID. Now, evidence for the second booster, not quite as clear right now. If people are going to travel, if they have some underlying medical problem, immunocompromised, if they're frail, I think a second booster is a good idea. For the rest of us, we might wait until we get more evidence that we really do need one or until we see if there's another surge of COVID coming right now. So I think right now it's not clear if the healthy younger folks need a second booster at all. Uh, so you mentioned a possible surge. So what is going on now with this Omicron subvariant BA2 in our country? I've read this week that it's now kind of up ticking in certain parts of our country. Yeah, it's the most common variant right now in America. That means it's the most contagious to beat out all the other variants. Fortunately, we're still seeing a minimum of cases, not a lot of serious illness, not a lot of hospitalizations. But Sonia, I think we need to keep an eye on this because it's wrecking havoc. This variant in America is also wrecking havoc right now in China and many other countries across the, the uh, pond, across the oceans. So is it going to come back and be a serious one? So far, we're lucky, but we've got to keep our fingers crossed on this one. Yeah, I definitely have my eye on uh, what's going on in other parts of the world. Uh, Evisheld is a new medication designed to prevent <laughs> coming down with COVID. So what exactly does this do and who is this for? Yeah, it's an interesting medication. It's a combination of two monoclonal antibodies. They're manufactured to mimic human natural antibodies with two twists. Number one, they last longer than human antibodies. And number two, they're available in advance. Our own body builds up antibodies when an infection comes on. This drug is designed to prevent infection, not to treat it. And so if you're frail, if you have some underlying condition to make you more susceptible to serious illness or even death, this works on top of vaccines. Good idea for those folks. Healthy folks, they don't need to have a shield. Hmm. I have one more quick question for you, Dr. Winter, because I read new research that was out this week uh, by Johns Hopkins, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, which confirmed convalescent plasma as a safe and effective treatment for early COVID. Where do we stand in our supply of this convalescent plasma though? Are people still donating? Is it hard to get? Yeah, it's in short supply. And the plasma does work, but different batches work better than others. It's not consistent. We found that the other medications, uh, antiviral drugs, some of the monoclonal antibody drugs work a little bit better. So it's hard to get plasma, doesn't work predictably well. So it's not as the first line of treatment right now for COVID-19. All right, Dr. David Winter, thank you as always. Good to see you.